Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, I want to show you four new projects that I picked up last weekend. That's right, count them, four, quantity of four. Lots of projects coming onto the channel, so be sure to stick around. Before we jump into car content, I just want to take a quick second to tell you guys about the new Beatles song. I don't know if you've seen it, but it was released yesterday and the music video came out today. So I have my Beatles shirt on in front of my Beatles wall, telling you definitely go check that out. It's really cool what they can do with technology, and it's kind of a really cool closure to like 60 years of history. All right, so behind this door is Project City. We've got projects everywhere. So if you're looking for a project, hit me up. I've got, well, mainly mid-year convertibles. This 60 Corvette is for myself, so is the Model A. Both of these two will be full builds, painted on new chassis, interior. They're gonna be beautiful builds. So those ones will take longer, first the 60 and then the Model A, but those two are for me. Everything else here is up for grabs. So if you're looking for, I have a 66 rear deck there. If you're looking for a 66, 65 convertible, six and or 267 convertibles, I got you covered here. So all in here are the parts to build those cars, uh, mostly to build firewall backs. So if you're looking for a project, um, I have access to a brand new Spec 7 Roadster Shop chassis, just like the one I used on Overkill. Uh, my buddy has that. So I can put a package together with one of these bodies in that chassis if you're interested send me an email or go on my website and contact me that way so we have a 65 convertible 67 and also another 67 so i can build any one of those onto that chassis for you put a front end on um, and rough out a project for you if you're interested and if you're looking for a starter resto mod build so i guess let's start off by diving into my 60. so you might be wondering why i have a c1 in here you may have been thrown through a curve because I have a Model A in here, um, but I like other cars than just mid-years. So I really like Model A's and hot rods. That's some of the first cars I fell in love with. The first car I ever worked on was a 65 convertible, but I really like that. And I really like, I have a love-hate relationship with C1s. My buddy has a 60 that did a lot of work on. I like that car, but I just really hate doing finished body work. So that's why I haven't touched one of these for a long time. But uh, what got me into piecing cars together was watching Paragon restore their 58 Corvette Rex. And they started with a rear clip and they put it together. And because of that car, I wanted to piece cars together. So it's coming full circle now and I'm gonna be able to piece a C1 together. So this may look really rough. This is all I have right now, um, but it's a good solid start because the quarter panels are really nice. The rear pan is in really good shape. Nobody tried to shave any of the bumpers away. And it's just a, it's, it's missing a lot, but for what it is, it's a good start. And what I paid, you know, only being $500 into a 60 project is pretty good. So this one will live on a Roadster Shop Spec 7 chassis, probably have a LS3 or so, a five or six speed manual transmission, Spec 7 Roadster Shop chassis. So this is going to be a pretty stout build. A lot of the rear floor is missing. They started cutting pieces away and they took some of the door jam bits and pieces. Um, but I'm going to put a whole new floor in the back of this so that that would all get cut away and these hinges are locked up tighter than Alcatraz So I'm gonna probably have to figure something else out because this floor will sit higher. So we'll probably use some kind of little um, Shocks or struts like they would use in modern cars. We'll revamp a lot of this I'm working on getting a cowl for this right now. So then I just need everything else I will need doors deck lid trunk front end, hood, everything. So this is gonna be a pretty stellar build. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. And then in my pile of fiberglass, there is a little bit of a hinge pillar. I have three or so firewalls and about three and a half or so floors in here. So there'll be plenty of fiberglass to splice into the pieces I have at the shop to skin these mid-years. So I guess I'll start with this one in the back over here, a 65 convertible. So if you're looking for a 65 convertible, I got you guys covered. So this one is actually pretty decent. There's a couple spots that need touching up in the rockers. I don't know why they powder coated it before they fixed that, but uh, that's fine. Um, this one used to be Glen Green with a black and white interior. So that would have been a pretty sharp combination actually. So we got this, we got what can be a 67 very easily because I have another rocker at home, I need to order a full windshield frame, but that's not really a big deal. So in about a week or so, this can be another car. And then our buddy up here has a really nice windshield frame, uh, but it 
cut off with the rockers. So I have more rockers at the shop and some B pillars and stuff. So we'll, we'll be able to make three bird cages pretty easily. So if you're looking for a bird cage or for a firewall back, or like I said, I can even do a full body on a roadster shop chassis. Just let me know about that because, you know, he's probably gonna either use that chassis or sell it. Um, so if you are interested in a project, let me know. And then I also have just some miscellaneous goodies in here, bonding strips, hinge pillars, firewall plenums. Ooh, and a shameless merch plug to go to the Midyear Mitch YouTube channel website, get yourself a t-shirt or a hat, you know? So this is all the goodies I have in here. Uh, odd thing about this 67 rear clip, it's actually pretty decent, but I really don't know why it has the reverse lights here, just like a 67 would, but someone added other reverse lights. So this one has hardly any brake lights, but all the reverse lights. So I don't know if these stopped working and they added other ones. Help, help me understand that. Then we have another nice uh, rear deck here. I have the extensions from another car at the shop that I'll be able to make this into a nice piece with new uh, taillight panel and quarter panels. This one here had a bit of a fire, so I'm either going to splice another floor into this, or, which is, this is probably the best approach, just to cut all this junk out, throw the rear floor away, and I have other ones at the shop that I can glue the, the deck onto. That's probably what I'll do, and then if someone wants to resto mod it, we can either cut the floor out again, and you know, put in the, the new pieces, or uh, they restore it. So. We have lots of convertibles in the shop. Most likely the, the workflow is going to be one of these convertibles is gonna jump on the line next, either a 67 or a 65. I'm gonna build that car into a firewall back and I'll have that in the shop right now. They don't take up a lot of room. Once I start building them, they're gonna take up a ton of space. So I really, really don't wanna start cranking them out unless I have somebody lined up. Uh, I'm gonna start ordering parts for my 60 because uh, the chassis is probably about an eight, eight month lead time. So this is about the time I ordered my last one and that ended up coming in June. So I'll probably get that one on order and start finding parts for this thing. So that way I can start building this and hopefully have it done in about a year and a half. And I need to put all these parts back in the corner like I had them nested because matter, believe it or not, I can still fit my Challenger in here. So we're gonna keep it that way. Gotta push everything back but this is just a peek into all the projects I have going on. So I think you guys are gonna like the change of pace with the 60 and the Model A Coupe. I'll be working on those two eventually in tandem, um, but we're gonna run out of space pretty quick because I keep building cars and I'm not getting rid of a lot of them. So hit me up if you're looking for a project. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're watching this video still, uh, if you're interested in any of these cars, let me know, except the 60, that one is mine. But all the other ones are up for grabs if you are interested. Um, so you can send me an email or you can go to my website and contact me that way. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do and I'll catch you guys later. So in case you're wondering, this is what my drive was like for like 13 hours. To be able to go on the highway, we were at like 2,500 RPM, 3,000 RPM. I'm pretty sure the muffler's blown out in this thing. And I just used my decibel checker, and it ranges from about 80 to 88 decibels in here. So that was a really fun trip. It's probably close to 90. So it was a nice, quiet, relaxing drive for that entire trip to Michigan. The things I do for Corvettes.